Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. So finally, Apple has started rolling out AI features and the call recording feature in India. Day before yesterday, they rolled out iOS 18 stable builds, but now they are also rolling out 18.1 beta 4 update and that brings all these features. So in this video, we'll talk about every change, what 18.1 beta 4 brings on the table for iPhone smartphones. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my iPhone 15 Pro Max and if I show you the software information by going to about section, here you can see currently it says iOS version is 18.1 and if you see the description it says this beta includes an initial set of features powered by Apple intelligence. To try out Apple intelligence, join the waitlist in the settings and you will be notified as soon as it is ready for your device. Both device language and the Siri language must be set to US English. So I've already said that and let me show you if I go to Apple intelligence. Here you can see it still says support for processing Apple intelligence model on devices downloading. It's been downloading from a long time. So I'm not sure how much time it will take. But once you install this, make sure you change the language here. I mean the Siri language to English United States and also make changes in the language and region. Select region as United States. On my device, the update size was 7.11 GB because I was running iOS 18 stable build. On stable build of iOS 18.0, the modem firmware was 2.16.06 and now the modem firmware is 2.20.02. They have also done few minor tweaks in UI here and there. We'll talk about them also. But before moving ahead, if you guys like a content and if you find it useful for you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. One thing which I noticed after the update, the wallpaper which I have applied here on my device Device, I had disabled the blur effect soon 18.1 beta 4 was installed and I booted up my device the blur effect automatically got applied I'm not sure whether it's a bug or they have restored some settings and I would like to inform Apple users about one thing the call recording feature is not a part of Apple's intelligence after I did some research I guess starting from iPhone 11 every device will have the support of call recording feature and let me tell you how does it work so if I make a call towards the left top corner you can see an icon tapping on it it will show you a pop-up of call recording. The description says, use the phone app to record a call then transcribe the conversation in the notes application. While your iPhone will automatically play an audio notification before recording begins. Please respect the preference of the person you are calling. If you tap on continue and guys also remember there will be announcement done soon you start to record the call and once you stop the recording you'll see a pop-up of view saved call now if you open it will redirect you to the notes application tapping on continue here you can see we have a call recording which we recently did tapping on it towards the bottom side you can also see the transcript of that audio recording and i'm not sure about this transcript feature it will be coming on other iphones or not but currently it's supporting my iphone 15 pro max tapping on this icon you can hear the recording or if you want to just read it that can also be done currently i don't see the live transcript on the screen while we are on a call then the other change what they have done that's in the control center and it's only specific for the communication tab here you can see this is how the new communication tab appears. You can take a look at the previous communication tab towards the right hand side wherein I had already taken a screenshot. I personally did not like these huge tiles. They occupy a lot of space. I personally prefer the older one. What do you guys have to say? Let me know in the comment section below. Because just these four tiles are taking half of the screen which doesn't look neat at all. But still let us know in the comment section below what are your thoughts about this change. Other than this I did not notice any kind of changes in the control center. I went through all the settings and I took screenshots before and after but there were no changes at all and with stable version of iOS 18 if you guys remember Apple did introduce this feature of pausing video while recording so this was introduced with stable build but when I was checking the camera application after this latest update I did notice another thing I'm not sure whether it was available on stable build of iOS 18 or not but let me show you if you guys record a 4k 60 fps video and later on if you tap on edit button towards the right top corner you can see a speed icon and tapping on it here you can adjust the playback speed so currently it's 100% 60 fps you have the option to play that video with 50% 30 fps and you can select the in and out point of the video where you want to play 50% 30 fps you guys let me know in the comment section below whether it's available on stable build of ios 18 or not and after this update when i open the photos application you can see there's a new description which says search clean up and create with apple intelligence search for just about anything remove visual distraction with a tap and create memories you want to see so let's open the photos app tap on search and if i search for something you can see the search is instant and it also shows other options layer towards your typing. Then the next change is in the keyboard application. And it's not a major one, just a minor one. Tapping on emojis, 
now the emoji size have been increased towards the right hand side you can take a look at the screenshot this is how the emojis used to look on the previous build or you can say ios 18 stable version but here there's a lot of gap between the emojis and at last now let's talk about the siri so soon you install the latest build you'll be introduced with this new setup screen of siri let me increase the volume i have a screen recording of it i'll play the video so that you guys can take a look You also get to see these new animations and the different color shades in the background. And on this build, Siri also lets you tap to talk. So if tapping here towards the bottom side, you can see a pill here. This lets you talk to Siri. And you get to see a nice animation. Along with that, the search is also now faster. So for example, if I search for play, you can see instantly I get the suggestions like play the news, play my voicemails, play my audiobook. And the same thing, depending on what I'm looking, it will give me the suggestions. Like if I type note, it says create a note or open notes. And here we also get to see the new animation around the edges of screen whenever we say hey Siri. But on my device it always says this error connect to Wi-Fi to complete the Siri download. Though it's still connected I'm not sure what's the issue. I think system will take some more time to download all the features of Siri because still it says Apple intelligence model on devices downloading. So guys these were all the changes on the latest build of iOS 18.1 beta 4. If I discover anything I'll keep you guys posted in different video. As of now only this much in this video. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.